The Next Cycle, Season 22, Episode 10. Oh, hi, Henry. Long time no see. You are looking smart. Where are you off to? Oh, you're still here, are you? I thought we already got rid of this guy. Let me guess, you're getting married. Yeah. And if you dare to even come near my future wife, you'll be sorry. I'm not having history repeat itself, like with Casey. Henry, stop panicking. I'm not here to take your wife. I got one of my own. My god, you are paranoid. You're nervous, aren't you? What do you care? I'm just trying to be friendly. Come on, Henry. Tell me what's wrong. Well, since George passed, I no longer have a best friend. So I have no best man. I'll be your best man. I am the bestest man who's ever graced this earth. Sorry, Justice. But I have already chosen my best man. I'm just scared people will make fun of me over it. Henry. You who? Hey, Mom. Your mom is your best man. Shut up! I have no one else, okay? Hey, I love your pink dress. Great color. Who is this blob, Henry? No one important. Come on, Mom, let's go to the wedding. Maybe we should just cancel today. No way. You can't do that. But I need Keenan here. He is my head's bridesmaid slash maid of honor. Where the hell is he? I tried calling him all morning. I can't get through to him. You know what? At least you know who's really there for you. If Kiernan isn't at the wedding itself, then I will take his place. It's my duty since you are becoming my new stepmom. Thanks, Rosie. Let's get going. Henry, I'm bored as hell. Where is this future wife of yours? Does she even exist? Of course she does. She'll be here any minute. Probably just stuck in traffic. I'm glad you're here today, Mom. What made you change your hair from afro to braids? Well, last time I was in the area, Vanessa was quite rude to me. She said that my hair needed mowing. So I mowed it down. And regrew it in braids. I didn't realize you still valued Vanessa's opinion. Yeah, well, she was my partner for a good 20 years. Henry, I am sick of this. Where is this imaginary woman of yours? I only have 10 minutes until I need to run the next service. There's an order of service here and things must be run properly and we won't have time. Most inauthentic. She'll be here. I promise. It's okay. Panic over. I'm here now. Let the joy begin. You look amazing. I'm so glad you got here. Thanks, but is Keenan here yet? No. I haven't seen him. Don't let that ruin our day though. No, of course not. Young lady. You are very late. You need big help with your organization. You've wasted all these guests' time. We were ready at the time that the service was supposed to start. We can't do the service now. Because we only have five minutes until the next service that I have to run. You have messed your own wedding day up. We won't get through this service in merely enough time. Will you shut the fuck up? You are wasting more time droning on about how much less time we have. So why don't you use your initiative, cut out all the boring bits and get us married? Fine. Where is he? How could he do this to me? Just enjoy the rest of the day without Kiernan, Christy. Thanks for coming today, Alicia. I guess we know who's really there for us. No problem. I hope your dad and Christy have a good honeymoon. I can't believe Kiernan didn't show up to be bridesmaid. Trust me on this. If Kiernan ever shows his face around here again, he better run. Fast. Fast.